people and welcome back to another video so this is the start of a new series of hero building let's build some heroes the correct way from the beginning one by one we're gonna be going against nothing absolutely except ourselves and how to build heroes and improve them and uh, hopefully our heroes become stronger across the series so for this one we're going to be starting with our top hero d1 and d only tuku so in this series we'll be looking at different artifacts the t2 the relics gems talents and upgrading the exclusive and the sigil and also we'll be looking at the statuses and also we will include well different ways of increasing attributes the attributes you see here and what might go wrong and which attributes to focus on based on the hero so without any further ado let's get started then go across different things in Tuko step by step the first thing that we're gonna go be uh, that we're gonna be going up at is the skin pretty much in epic heroes there are different skins if the game decides to add the skin for that specific hero the skin usually will give attributes that benefit the hero and take them to an upper level can be dependent on the hero hp increase by percentage attack and broken armor can be other factors let's go and see for instance cyber ronin damage immunity and hp and attack and the attributes really depends on the hero more than anything in what attributes they've selected to add to the hero so for instance and this is from the rare examples a hero might have two skins or more so one skin if we're talking about maker x adds damage uh, critical damage sorry to him and the other one if you switch to it adds broken armor the skin pretty much is a way to increase your hero's overall power and attributes of course the skin is sold in the game and you will have to buy it by using money 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 it's the name of the game so skins pretty much if you're looking at malaysian ringgit one will cost you 254.90 now the skin aside from the aesthetics the graphics how it looks so nice so nice so clear better than the original sometimes the addition is mostly in the attributes and the graphic illustration that is given to the player to choose from now at the same time you still can benefit from the property increase and use the normal skin and switch between them per your desire of course we'll stick with the new cyberpunk skin yep this one and we'll be enjoying the additional attributes so additional attributes for the skin when it comes to Tuko is going to be the hp and attack and the six percent broken armor broken armor as you can see in her case here is at 60.9 so six percent of that digit of the digit you see in the skin comes from actually having the skin and she wearing the skin now moving aside from the skin and different heroes have different skin one of them is Tuku. you have four slots for every hero for the artifacts pretty much it's the gear that looks like a shield and a sword and a helmet and at the beginning you actually start off with it's not t1 and then you evolve it to t1 and then you can evolve it to t2 so once you've taken it to t1 and it's time for you to select t2 by evolving then you would select the one of the class attributes and then after that you have t3 which is the new addition in the game and you have to pay to actually get t3 divine stones just to take it to the t3 the t3 actually does make a huge impressive difference in a hero's overall power unfortunately we're not going to be doing that and we will start by looking at the attributes with well t1 so when you're looking at the resonance attributes in selection every hero benefits from a specific attribute can be an increase in hp can be critical can be critical damage broken armor etc etc so tuku actually benefits from a multiplying multiple multiple of different uh, resonance attributes critical she can benefit from it critical damage she can benefit from it broken armor she can benefit from it and attack now the best thing to give to tuku would be 
well the critical and then the critical damage and arrangement and then the broken armor and then the attack would be the last thing you would go for if you actually need to increase it now if we're looking at the actual t2 available i guess i did go for one for attack and then the next one is skill damage yes we all make mistakes and then the third one is broken armor and then the next one is critical now when we're looking at this plus 12 skill damage there's a difference that I'm not sure every player has that but I can actually switch it and I switch it between heroes So for instance if we look at the God Slayer He has broken armor here. So what I do is very simply select this and replace So it kind of, this this specific move depends on the battle and if I want to increase the skill damage or I want to actually Increase something different. So I just switch it between heroes. So that's one thing if you screw up instead of throwing it in the trash You can just switch it between heroes when you need so that's one thing uh, As we said the attributes the best attributes or the correct selection would be critical and then critical damage and broken armor You can also see it in the heroes biography portrait of the statuses you see the statuses holds the top three or top four attributes that the hero benefits from of you increasing it. It also shows you the artifacts that the hero can benefit from being used in selection. It also shows you kinda an idea for the talents you can use and also advice for the sigil. Also a lineup that's useless and let's just ignore that lineup. Alright, so now we understand that once we're at T1 and we want to evolve, let's go back to someone who has T1, we're going to be selecting either critical or critical damage or broken armor. Okay, so how do we make this de uh, decision? We make this decision based on our hero statuses attributes. So you're looking at critical and you're looking at critical damage. Critical is 89.9. Critical damage is 58.5 and broken armor is 60.9. Now let's guess, what should we actually increase? It would be broken armor, right? So that's one way of looking at it and how you can do your selections. It's very simple in, you will start at, at, at normal a normal artifact, okay? Then you're going to evolve it uh, to T1 and then you're going to select the attribute for T2 resonance and then you would click on evolve. So that's how we actually go with selection of T1, uh, sorry, upgrading to, from T1 to T2. So that's the first thing. Second thing is we're looking at the equipment or the artifacts we can use for Tuku. Now there's a multitude of artifacts that actually fits Tuku. Some of them are gems, some are divine, actually one divine. And the rest compilation is actually from the Prelude of Evil or Evil Artifacts. So the first gem, of course, is going to be Eden Space. Uh, Eden Space simply increases her critical. And, of course, let's explain what is critical. Critical is the ability to land the critical hit on the enemy. So what is a critical hit? What's a, what's a critical hit? Critical hit when you're in battle and you attack an enemy. And the critical lands. A critical lands on its own, the higher the percentage and a, a bunch of calculations. Let's not go into that. If you land it, Toko can increase her damage the more she attacks. That is why we increase critical. Now, Eden Space grants uh, something very interesting that it can increase the damage after you land the critical. So Eden Space is used to increase the pursuit and follow up pursuit when you're when Tuku is doing it and she causes more damage the damage should increase as you are attacking. It also increases her attack by 30%. So Eden Space is one of the good selections for giving to Tuku and usually if she's not doing enough pursuit and follow up pursuit if you're another artifact or divine will or whatever switch to Eden Space that should make a difference. The next one is the meteoroid dust. The meteoroid dust pretty much again as soon as Tuku lands a critical okay and it happens based on the critical percentage the higher the better in the attributes then her damage increases okay so the more the critical increases the more she lands critical the more she will gain more damage or being able to do more damage now the meteor dust is different than Eden space it increases the critical damage so what is critical damage? Critical damage is when you land a critical. There's another percentage that's for critical damage. Let's look at it. 
so they actually mix and match together so the higher the critical the higher the possibility of landing a critical hit okay and then comes in the critical damage the higher the critical damage as soon as it's landed the more the increase in damage will be okay sounds great so we have two nice selections one of them is to actually increase the critical rate each time a critical is landed by the meteor dust and it will also increase the critical damage after that by actually just holding the gym itself and that will equal Tuku causes more damage actually the higher the meteor dust is upgraded until level 30 at least the better it can be so we have two good selections one of them is Eden space Eden space will increase the critical and the attack and it will increase the damage as soon as the critical is landed the meteor dust will rely on the critical damage after a critical is normally landed unrelated to the meteor dust there will be an increase in the critical damage it will also increase the critical damage attribute number and the attack also so those are two attributes uh, sorry two gems that actually Tuku can benefit from having next is going to be of course the divine will and the prelude of evil now when it comes to divine will do as you like mix and match if you know what you're doing but one of the good selections is actually fatal judgment just for the concept of increasing her attack by a percentage and her attack keeps increasing every time she attacks so we know Tuku does follow up pursuit shadow pursuit and follow up pursuit more and more and more so the more she is able to attack round after round the more her attack at increases increases by percentage so fatal judgment is for those heavy fights that you want let's say a good increase in attack faster now we're going to be skipping the rest of the uh, the divine will artifacts because we're looking at what matches the best and then the prelude of evil so for the prelude of evil you have so many different artifacts that can match about four or something one of them is the hunter's Th uh, seth now the hunter's seth is an all-in-one when it comes to tuku if i had to say the hunter's seth, uh, seth and the tyrant's hammer are considered and the pit spear the three are considered one of the three best selections that you can give to tuku because this one it mixes the attack and an increase in critical and an increase in critical damage it also directly gives you that when you land the critical there is an increase in the damage automatically in the damage and the critical damage all in one now the hunter's seth is actually very good to be collected because when it comes to battle against bosses when it comes to uh, whatever attribute uh, whatever game mode in the game it really makes a difference in increasing tuku's damage by a large amount of millions actually so easily by just having and equipping the hunter's seth so we're looking at again in recapping eden space as a good selection the meteor dust as a good selection if you're really stuck and you need some fast attack it's not going to increase the pursuit and follow-up pursuit like you normally want uh, want but it will give more output of damage fatal judgment and then we're looking at the dark artifacts one of them is the hunter's seth the all-in-one critical damage and critical and then you have the tyrant's hammer which is going to be critical damage in hp fantastic also and one of the good ones is the pet spear which increases the critical and broken armor every time tuku will do an attack a pursuit she will deal 100 percent of her attack as bonus damage and pretty much the more damage she causes in one round it will carry on and then increase etc etc so the pet spear is actually very good if you want to end the fight faster now moving on from the artifacts and the equipment it's actually artifacts not equipment but let's go with that then you have the exclusive Toku's exclusive is very simplified you want her to attack more shadow up pursuit and follow up pursuit you need to upgrade the exclusive why because when you reach level 10 uh, each additional attack triggered by pursuit it will reduce the target's damage reduction so you can do more damage and then at level 20 each additional attack triggered by pursuit reduces the target's damage by 6% and then at level 30 10% when affected by sword shadow receives an additional 4 charges to trigger pursuit at 100% chance 
So at level 30 is when she really shines because she can do more pursuit, more pursuit, more follow-up pursuit, more shadow pursuit equals more slicing, equals more damage, equals she takes out more enemies, equals you win. Now at level exclusive 40, in the sword shadow state, each chase increases the attack damage by 6%. What does that mean? It means Tuku can do pursuit, follow-up pursuit, and shadow pursuit, so we have three... And at level 40, the attack damage increases by 6%. So that buff of damage that's so high is only at level 40. At level 30, she's decent, but still not there. So the exclusive is very simple. You'll just need to enhance it. And for enhancing it, you'll need the Uru, the, the Uru chest, pretty much. You'll need the Superman Uru. And the Superman Uru can be gained by the Supreme Chests and different modes in the game. This is the chest of Uru. Okay, and she's using the Superman. Superman upgrades with the Uru starts at level exclusive 21 until the level 30 to the end, pretty much. Okay, fantastic. Before that, before that and upgrades, you'll be using first the Mithril Ore and then after after you've actually finished up until level 10 you will be going into the next cycle of using the what was it vibranium yeah from 11 to 20 so you'll be using the vibranium ore at that 